In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this advertisement stand or display stand. As you can see here, I've created this kind of a metallic stand here and where uh, you can see the area where you can just display your images or videos or text so uh, a lot of things you can do on this particular area so let me just show you one example what i did so when i click you can see here the images started moving in so you can use this for a photo album you can use for a lot of different uh, varieties of designs you can think of all right so you can see here the images keeps on moving so you can add as many uh, images as you want and you can think of doing a different kind of animation also here so you can see here uh, and then this uh, the last image will stop here and if you want it can uh, keep on rotating also depending on your requirement you can just adjust the animation settings and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this if you are using the older version like 2007 and 2010 some features might not be available so i highly recommend you to use the latest version of powerpoint so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle at the bottom here maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to give this a gradient fill for that right mouse click go to format shape and i'm going to select the gradient fill here by default i have used before that's the reason it's coming let me just show you what i did i have selected the type as linear and i have used only two stop one is the white or light gray color and one is somewhat a dark gray color here you can see here depending on your requirement you can just change the color also okay so whichever color you feel better then i'm going to add one more rectangle or i can just select this one press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to just uh, increase the size you can see here by covering whole slide you can see something like this just make sure that the slide has to be covered with the rectangle and go to format menu and send this two back so you can see here i've added two rectangles uh, one at the bottom and one covering the whole slide then i'm going to draw a advertisement pole kind of thing for that go to insert shapes now depending on your requirement you can choose any shape from this if you want oval shape or uh, pentagon or hexagon or whatever for example let me just take this hexagon shape hold the shift key so that i get this shape shape outline make it no outline you can see here i'm going to place it here and i'm going to make it a 3d look before that let me just give a gradient fill i can give the gradient fill either with the same color or i can just change the direction also you can see here i can just change the direction something like this and then go to the effects go to the 3d rotation scroll down from the presets i'm going to choose this one you can see here off axis to top all right so it looks something like this and then i'm going to give a depth for that go to 3d format and start giving the depth you can see here something like this all right so if you feel that okay this is not the right shape you need some uh, different shape also you can just go to uh, from the format you can go to edit shape for example and you can make it an oval shape also you can see here you can make oval also so it's up to you which shape you need for example let me just take this oval shape and with the help of this uh, material and lighting you can just change the appearance also you can see here something like this if you want darker if you want more brighter you can see here so whichever way you feel better you can just choose it you can see here all right so once this is done i'm going to duplicate this press ctrl d to duplicate hold the shift key reduce the size and i'm going to place it exactly at the top of that and then i'm going to add one pole for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle again draw the rectangle depending on your requirement the height and width you can adjust i'm going to place this much here you can see here shape outline i'm going to make it no outline and this also i'm going to select gradient fill and gradient fill the type is linear direction i want something like this and one more i want to add one stop i have just moved this one here click here to add one more and then you can just make some more darker here you can see here something like this all right 
if you want lighter or different color also you can do it now let me just add the main area the screen where we want to display our image or text so i'm going to select the rounded corner rectangle draw the rounded corner rectangle depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the height and width make it less curved something like this shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to choose a white color here all right or i can just choose some different color later on i'm going to delete this particular thing anyway so i'm just going to place it here and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add two more uh, kind of uh, shapes to connect this one press ctrl d this reduce the size you can see here and rotate it let me just increase the width all right and then let me just zoom in i'm going to place it something like this press ctrl d bring it down i'm going to just place it here so you can see here i've added this shape now now what i'm going to do is a uh, simple uh first of all let me just reduce this size also it should look like this okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this rectangle and i'm going to cut this okay for that let me just make a copy of this press ctrl d i'm just going to use it for the later purpose so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this rectangle the one which we have that added covering the whole slide hold the shift key select this one this rectangle make sure you should not select any of this only this and this and go to format merge shapes you can see here i can just make it subtract so what happens the moment i subtract that one that particular area will be removed from the rectangle can you see here it has been removed okay now what happens is i want to just give some border so i'm going to select this shape outline i'm going to give maybe dark color here if you want we can just increase the weight also and shape fill make it no fill and then exactly put it here on top of this all right so you can see here now this area is empty here nothing is there we can see the background of the slide now what we need to do is we need to add the image the text or whatever you want you can just add it here so let me just show you how we can do that now here i'm going to add some images which i've already downloaded okay i'm just going to copy these images you can see here these three or four images i'm just going to select Control c and uh, bring it here okay and then i'm just going to paste it now what we need to do is we need to in, uh, adjust this size first of all what you have to do is you have to just go to the uh, let me just select this once again all right and you can see here you can go to the format and then you can just adjust the size you can see either you can just go from here also it takes you here and remove this lock aspect ratio okay so that i can uh, change the height and width as per my requirement all right so now what i'm going to do is let me just reduce the size all this i'm just reducing the size all right first of all i'm just going to place it here and increase the size okay if it is stretching up you can just increase it or what you can do is you can just crop it okay crop it depending on your requirement you can see here just you have to make sure that the the image size should be bigger than this one okay so this is my slide uh, the image one then i'm going to choose this one you can see here if you want you can make it bigger also not a problem so let it be like this let me just zoom out a little bit so this is my second slide i'm just attaching it here next to this one you can see here and then i'm just going to add one more towards the right you can see here i can just add it so i've added four images one so i'm just going to hold the shift key and i'm going to select all of this and press ctrl g2 group it okay once you group it i'm just going to place it next to this one you can see here and i'm going to add the animation so close the format background go to the animations enable the animation pane and i'm going to select this add animation go to more motion path and then i'm going to select this one left all right and click okay so it goes towards left you can see here let me just zoom out 
you can see the small uh, two points the green and red so i'm going to select the red hold the shift key and move it here till you reach this point okay all right and double click this animation remove the small uh, smooth and smooth start and go to the timings maybe you can make it extremely slow and click ok so it moves something like this so what we need to do now is we need to select this and we have to just send this to back so that it will not be visible only it will be visible when it moves here so let me just show you a slideshow so you can see here there's nothing image shown but when i click you can see here the images started moving in so depending on your requirement you can add text images play the video uh, a lot of things you can do with this particular uh, slide design all right so you can see here how the images are moving and then at the end it will stop here okay so it's very simple uh, you can just uh, do a lot of things with this design